I'm going to show you how I would process an acoustic guitar. It's one of many ways that people process acoustic guitar. Um, these are these are actually two stereo tracks, so they were recorded with um, each one was recorded with a stereo pair, and then they're panned left and right just a bit. So you, even though you get you'll get like a different guitar in each ear, but then you'll still get a bit of the other side in the other ear, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so. Um, First up, I'll just put one of these UA 610B preamps on there. Uh, it's not doing much, a tiny bit of drive, a little bit, little bit down on the bottom end, a little bit up on the high end. Um, so let's have a quick listen to that. It's just a simple guitar recording. Um, so it sounds cool. It's a little bit kind of dull and unrefined in places. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is just a UA preset that I that I had whacked on while recording it. So I don't even, I don't know exactly what it's doing <laughs> to be honest. There's a little dip at 200 um, acoustic guitar often. Builds up around there, a boost right down the bottom, and then also an attenuate down there. So that's similar to another video I did um, where you're boosting and attenuating at the same time with the Poltec. A little bit of loss of the top end. In fact, to be honest, I'll take that off. Um, so here, let's have a listen to that. So that's with it and without. So you can just hear that it takes out... The main thing you're hearing for me is the kind of dip at around 200, which often builds up on acoustic guitars. Um, uh, it will just make it a little bit cleaner. A lot of the time in a busy mix, you don't really hear that kind of stuff down there, you know? Um, so next up, a bit of compression. 1176. Really, really... Um, well, the slowest attack possible and pretty much the fastest release because you want to get those pick noises through. Uh, so let's have a listen to that. So this is without. And then with. So you can hear it levels it out, but you still get that kind of attack. So next, let's uh, attack the um, the top end. Let's get a bit of brightness in. So once again, I've used this Harrison EQ, which is one of my favourite UA plugins. You can really push it uh, quite a long way without without it sounding bad. So um, this is without it. And with. This kind of boost around five is really pushing out those pick noises. So I'll just turn that up while it's playing. You can kind of hear what it does. It, I don't know, it almost makes the guitar sing, you know? Um, next up is the VSC2 compressor, which won't be doing too much. Um, slow release, kind of medium, um, sorry, slow attack, medium release. Uh, let's see what the threshold's doing. But I, once again, I think especially when pushing something with EQ, it's nice to put a compressor afterwards just to level out. Uh, any inconsistencies you might have you might have um, added. 
So let's have a listen to that. So this is uh, without. And with. So, yeah, you st you're still getting the nice bite and attack of the acoustic guitar, but it's levelling out those bits in the middle. Uh, if I push the threshold down, you'll really hear what it's doing. So... All right, cool. And then next up, just a simple bit of reverb. So I didn't want it to sound anything other than natural. Uh, we didn't have any room mics in the room when we recorded. So I just thought I'd whack an Ocean Way on. Source guitar, Ocean Way A. I think I've changed the mics, uh, which makes a massive difference. You just do that by clicking there and scrolling through. Um, I've used a blend of the near and the far and then just move the distance to taste. Uh, it's on a reverb setting on wet solo because it's on a send. So let's have a list of that on solo. Just sounds great. The, the, the width it gives is uh, pretty incredible. So let's blend that in. Here you go. Uh, so this is without. And with. Obviously with any kind of effect, you, you do it to taste in a track. This is taken from um, another track. So uh, I mixed it to fit in with all the instruments there. So you can do all this to taste to fit in with uh, whatever you want. So let's do one last comparison. Um, I'll play it with without without anything, and then with everything. So this is without. <laughs> <laughs> 